Hiya friends and happy holidays. I'm Hannah and today I'm teaming up with my friends Anna and Morgan here on YouTube because together all three of us are going to share with you a total of nine DIY mason jar craft ideas as inspired by Pinterest. I will be leaving a link to their videos down below in the description box as well as at the end of this video. But first I'm going to share with you guys my three mason jar craft ideas that you can give away as gifts. So let's do this. These are the jars I'm going to be making today. They're all inspired by real images I found on Pinterest. This first jar is my favorite because it features a different emoji face on either side. And it should go without saying how simple it is to make. Here are the supplies that I use. Pretty regular stuff like paint and paintbrushes. To start, I squeeze a lot of yellow paint in the jar. Like, more than you could possibly need. And then I rolled the jar around and played with it until the jar was almost completely coated. And then, I tipped it upside down on a piece of scrap cardboard that would later collect all of the excess paint. This was a method I found online and I actually had a lot of trouble grasping it. So don't feel bad if you can't figure it out on the first try because it took me at least four tries. Anyways, when it was pretty much dry, I took my other paint and copied emoji faces from a picture. And then I was done and just sat and admired how cute it was. Next up is a pizza fun jar, which is the simplest of all of these projects. It's essentially a penny bank that you can customize until your heart's content. First, I measured a piece of flexible foam to be slightly larger than the mouth of my jar, and then I cut a hole on top to be my coin slot. Next, I broke out my sticker collection and went to town. And voila, a pizza fund. Other fund ideas include a unicorn fund, a vacation fund, a beer fund, new shoes fund, and really the list could go on and on. This last jar is the most complex, but still pretty simple. If you love pineapples, then you're gonna love this. So here's what I needed for this fruity treat. It starts off the same as the emoji jar by filling a jar with a lot of yellow paint. So we'll just skip through this step. Once it was mostly dry, I took black paint and gave my pineapple some texture. There are lots of different designs you could do, but this is the one that came natural to me. Next, I measured and cut out green construction paper to be the leaves. And then I used a hot glue gun to attach that to the jar lid. The last step is optional, and that's to add a matching gift tag. Oddly enough, I just had this one lying around and I thought it looked cute. Now that these jars are all painted and looking pretty, you're probably wondering what the heck do you put in them? Why not load them up with some wrapped throwback candy like Sour Patch Kids or my favorite, Cinnamon Jelly Bellies? Just whatever fun treat or candy you think the recipient of your gift would like. Just have fun with it. If you like those, then you're going to love what Anna and Morgan came up with. Be sure to stop by their channels to watch their videos. And also, leave us a comment letting us know which jars you're going to recreate. And you can tag us on social media if you do make them because we would really love to see them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from all of us. Share our videos with a friend who might like them. Am I missing something? I don't know. Don't forget to be awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video really soon.